What is up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Don't Starve where I'm almost gonna die in the darkness. That's a really unfortunate place for me to stop my playthrough. Like legitimately, that was a bad idea. I don't know why I logged off so close to nighttime where the second I jumped on it was like Nyeh. And nighttime just closed in on us. As of right now, not a whole lot going on in this playthrough. We are doing really, really well. Things are taken care of. There are other things that I'd like to work on. But by and large, we've been playing this pretty safe, and I think it's gone well for us. Let me see if I can... Oh, look at that. We got a we got a Skeeter over here. Oh, you almost messed up, Skeeter. You almost messed up. That was my nickname when I played baseball when I was a kid. Skeeter. Because I was... This was before the Skeet, 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 Skeet thing. I realize it's an unfortunate nickname now, but it was a term of endearment in the 90s, okay? Back before hip-hop got a hold of the word. Either way, though, it's because I was small. I played baseball, and I was like, ah! I don't know, when I was like 9 or 10, they thought that maybe I had a growth deficiency or something. Like, I lacked certain chemicals. I have no idea, I'm not a biologist, but either way, I was really, really small, like a mosquito. But everybody said I had bite, and so I was called Skeeter, and that was my nickname. On all my baseball teams. Ain't nobody called me that in a long ass time though. Although we got mosquitoes around here. That's one of those things I don't feel like dealing with. I guess the mosquitoes drop venom glands now? I thought they only dropped the mosquito sacs nowadays. But it appears as though that maybe I was just unlucky when I was playing on the stream. But I played for almost three hours on stream with this game. Check it out. Splattercat Gaming on Twitch TV. Swing on through. I can virtually promise you will have a good time. It is my after hours show, so be aware it is uncut, unedited, a lot more edgy. It's basically the difference between seeing a comedian with dinner at 5 o'clock and seeing a comedian at midnight. Completely two different shows. And so anyways, I find it to be a lot of fun. It's one of those things that lets me blow off steam. I have a really, really good time. Wow, it is really, really soggy over here. What's interesting is the sun is up this whole time, so this should be drying out since there's been no rain. Unfortunately, that's not happening. We need to do a couple of things right now. Among those things, I would strongly suggest that we find our way. So where is my boat? Do I even have one? So my armor boat is down here to the south. My suggestion would be that we should start getting the stuff together for making boat repair kits. I'd like to have three or four of those ready to go. Just in case things happen in the future, you never know with this game. Sometimes it gets rowdy. Wow, this entire island's going underwater. That's really, really unfortunate. Something that I don't totally want to deal with right now, but it's something that we will have to deal with regardless. We don't have a lot of space in our inventory, but I can dump some grass out here. Always watch out. If you're dumping grass, always check that sort of thing before you flush. It probably means you've got some kind of health deficiency, or you might be a cow. If nobody had informed you yet, though, I'm happy to be the person that helps you find that transcendent moment where you realize you're a cow, so hang in there. It'll get better. Unless you're on one of those big farms like they have on the I-5 all the way down to SoCal. And then you're toast. It's not going to be a good thing for you. If you look around and you're shoulder to shoulder with cows for days, there's no grass, nothing happy, no sunlight. You you might be in the cow farm down there. It's a big cattle farm. When you're driving from Northern California to Southern California along the highway, basically there's this big stretch of land for like 20 minutes that's all cattle farms. Like, they're just big butcher ranches, basically. What I needed was... Anywhere with bees is what I need. Where are the bees at? Where are the bees? Where are the bees? Where are the bees at? Oh, we got to go to the west. Okay. So the beehives are over here. Basically, I need to get into a fight with bees and get payade all day yay in the shay yay get may yay. We're being chased by stink rats again. That's really sort of unfortunate, but I don't think they're... What the hell are those? There are dolphins? Are they good dolphins or are they evil dolphins? I assume they're probably like the aquatic equivalent of like monkeys maybe? Like smart, they like steal your stuff or something crazy, I don't know. It'd be cool to have a fleet of dolphins on our team though. I'm not gonna sugarcoat that at all. I I want a team of dolphins very, very badly. They can back me up in a fight and be like ee! Take my enemies out with their bottle noses, placed in precarious places at high velocities. Be awesome. I think I could deal with that. Got a little bit of time left. The days are lengthening. We're not quite at the hot season yet. Somebody had said in the comments that she does not get hot. She's immune to fire, so she's also immune to heat. It's actually a little bit contradictory there. She does get overheated, just like all the other characters do. She's just immune to fire. I can see what logic would dictate there, though. I understand what you're getting at, and actually, one would seem to follow the other, but it doesn't work like that, unfortunately. All I need from over here is to beat up some bees. That's all that matters. If I can fight with some bees, I think we'll be... Can I not sting? Oh, good. Oh, the bee is fighting with... 
This may be difficult because F does not naturally target them until they are already very, very angry with you. Almost got hit right there. Got that one, though. We kind of just want to stay moving. And if you can keep the bee on one side of you who's slowest out of the group, you can probably get the rest of them. Okay, so there's the hit right there. Just don't get greedy with them. Learn to learn to judge the situation. You'll probably be all right. I just don't want to get stung right now because I didn't bring any armor with me. If I had brought armor, this would be a lot worse. Or, I'm sorry, a lot easier. I'm going to get this one right here. I'm going to keep swinging at that one. We need all these little stingers. That's all that we need right now is a ton of stingers. And then I will more than likely... I always wanted to make a band called the Banana Stingers. Because that's what I call the thing at the bottom of the banana. The little, I don't know, the little black thing at the bottom of the banana that kind of like grips onto the bottom of it. I used to call it the Banana Stinger. That was my nickname for it when I was a kid. I don't know if that's clever or not. I hope it is. But if it isn't, either way, I always wanted to make a band called the Banana Stingers. And then people would be like, what the hell is that? It's kind of like people asking what the hell a mustard plug is. Exact same situation. Be like, what the hell is a mustard plug? I don't want the bee, I don't want the monkeys to take any of this. So I need to come up with a way right now. Looks like the bees have been on a rampage lately, interestingly enough. I don't totally feel like dealing with you either. Nah. Yeah. That's what I figured would happen. We need to eat some food, and I didn't bring any with me, so we've got a little bit of a problem right now. I'm going to eat that fish morsel real fast. Cook up the remainder of the seaweed, and then we should be ready to roll. Seaweed seems like it would have a gnarly texture to me. I don't know. The only seaweed I've ever had has been in sushi, and I just don't like the texture most of the time. I do like sushi, though, so usually I can fight my way through it. Depends, though. There's a big difference between good sushi and bad sushi. That's the main thing that comes down to when you're eating sushi. Some of it's terrible and some of it's good. Just really depends on who's cooking it. It's not like a hamburger where it's really, really difficult to screw up a hamburger. Like a hamburger's a hamburger. You pretty much get a 5 out of 10 by default based on the accoutrement the person could put on it based on their own personal preference. However, God. I'm going to eat that coconut, I guess. And I think we just got to wait out the night. All right, we don't have a whole lot of stuff to get done. I'm hoping it doesn't rain. If it rains tonight, that's going to add a little bit of precariousness to the situation. While we've got a couple of minutes, I'm going to try and grab whatever saplings I can because we are low on sticks. And so adding a little bit to our stock would probably be a really, really good idea. So sticks and stock so we don't get stuck. And then stack is not a word. Stack is, though, so we can stack the sticks in our stock so that we don't get stuck. But unfortunately, that's as far as we can go with this little valley wordplay system. Alright, so nighttime, feel free to fall whenever you want. Night doesn't really fall, though. I always feel like night drapes. When you say night falls, it makes me feel like it should just hit, like, all of a sudden. And night is never like that. You always have a pretty good runway to nighttime, at least where I live. You usually got at least, like, two hours of it getting darker before you finally get there. God, if it's the summer, you ain't never gonna see the darkness. If it's the summer, it probably gets dark around, like, 9 o'clock at night, 9.30 at night. It takes forever to get dark in the summer. I used to hate it when I was a kid. Because mom and dad had sent you to bed. My bedtime was 9 o'clock and it'd still be light outside. Like there would still be birds chirping and stuff. And you're just like, oh my god, this is the worst. This is the worst. And then in winter it gets dark at like 3.30 here. It's ridiculous. Like right now we basically have that going on where by about 4 o'clock the sun is down. It's behind the hills and it's definitely getting dark quick. It is you or me. That's a good thing to recall. Uh-uh. Nope, not today, hand. I'm going to call him Hans. That's his nickname. Hans is trying to steal our fire. So Hans has got to get dealt with. I like how nighttime is shorter. That makes me happy. I don't like it when nighttime is super long in this game. Like winter seasons. I don't know. I feel like winter is a little lackluster and shipwrecked right now. I, I kind of feel like it's sort of how sh winter was in the original game when they first implemented it. And they hadn't totally fleshed it out yet. I would love to not get stung by you right now. Hey, there's a mosquito sack. I don't think you can cook it, but you can use it to heal yourself if you're busted up, so... Just kind of depends what function you need out of it right now. If you're out here trying to function, out here trying to function... I... There's not really much else we can do here. I don't want to drop anything that I have in my inventory at the moment, just to take those along. We got plenty of venom glands back at base, and we got tons of yellow mosquitoes... Or we don't have any mosquito sacks, but... Ew, it's wet. It's got a modifier. For some reason, that makes it worse. Either way... 
it's time for us to leave. We got what we came for, and so now I just want to stock up and stock up and stack up maybe three or four repair kits for the boat. This thing has a lot of HP, and it should be all right. Our sanity is starting to dwindle. I don't know if that was due to the fact that I got in a lot of fights that day, and then I stayed up all night. I'm going to assume that that's what caused it to happen. That's a dogfish right there. I don't think I've ever caught one yet. I'm not entirely sure how you would go about doing so. My guess is there's some kind of like sea trap or something, or maybe you just shoot them with a cannon. Or a spear gun or something like that. Any ranged weapon seems like it would probably do. Try and avoid some waves over here while we go down. I'm going to be that guy at the stadium. If you don't enjoy doing the wave, why are you here? Why are you here? You ever be like, I don't think I've ever seen it. Actually, now that I think about it, I was going to be like, you ever seen a guy at the game who's just like not into it? He just seems like he doesn't want to be there. I have not actually. When I go to football games or anything like that, it's usually pretty fun. It's an excuse to get super shit-faced drunk, if nothing else. I mean, and I do enjoy those opportunities. Opportunities. So now it's going rain. And since we're getting rained on, oh, look at that. We got ourselves a durian. Don't know if I want said durian right now. However, let's get a fire up and raging. I'm going to take a look at our wood supply over here. And get a feel for how grown some of these trees is. I'm grown because I'm the daddy. You ever seen that video? That shit's funny. It's this little kid. And I don't know. He's all amped up. He just keeps yelling, I'm the daddy. I'm grown. Over and over and over again. And it, it's funny. He's slapping his chest. I don't know. It's funny for some reason. He's trying to stun lock that little bastard, but can't seem to get after him. I gotta get some sanity back here. Take out the lighter, too, and we'll just add everything we can to this equation. Won't make for incredibly stimulating gameplay, but we need sanity very, very badly. It's not going up very quickly, either. We might have to sleep through a night or two here. So I got you guys in there. Well, that's not good. She spreads fire when she hits things? I just learned a new thing today. I never knew that. Unless she's stressed right now and she's lighting shit on fire again. I can't decide if she's stressed and lighting shit on fire or... Hmm. Now might be the time for a garland. Oh, it gave me a full quality garland? That's pretty sweet. I can appreciate that. Let's work on our sanity for a little bit. I may try to sleep through the night if this gets much worse, but we basically just got to huddle around here for a while and see if we can't get a little bit of sanity back. Hey, equip that this time. I can't deal with the fact that... Ooh, almost got stung. That was a close one. See, they get you. That's how they always get you. You aren't paying attention, and they're like, gotcha. They're like, no. Now I got to deal with poison and shit. There goes another one. I think we should be able to keep the sanity ticking upwards. Let me take a look, and I think it's in the... Actually, I can do that from right here. In the nautical menu, we need planks. So that's going to be an issue for us. Actually, put that back on. What's inside of here, though? The log suit? Okay, just a bunch of equipment, basically. That's cool. That's cool. We can deal with that. Let me stack up. There's nothing in there. Nothing in there that I really want to stack. My god, it is coming down right now. This is how it's been over where I live for like the last couple days. It's been like weeping down. Haven't been able to get nothing done as far as my workout's concerned. It has been disappointing. Very, very, very disappointing. Drop that up in there. And we should be mighty, mighty fine right about now. When it comes to our problems. We might want to sleep through the day. I don't know. Let's pick some food first. And since I ate everything while I was abroad. I'm going to add that there. Do you like your housey fire? You are welcome. I don't know if I should sleep through this one and see if we can get better weather. It's going to mess with our hunger though. And we don't really have like a giant surplus of food at the moment. Some mosquitoes are becoming an issue, too. Although, I'm about to chop a bunch of trees. So, the food issue is probably not going to stand for long. Oh, I got meatballs in there? Well, shit. Alright, that solves that issue. As far as the eggs go, I'm going to pick up the eggs. We're going to put those in the fridge. We're probably going to get around to start messing with... I don't know, make some pierogies or something. We don't have any meat, which makes it kind of an issue. Yep, I'm watching you. 
I'm on you. I'm watching you like sting right now. I'll be watching you. Got five in here. All right. And then we'll combine those stacks to conserve space. I realize we are really not getting much done today, but we do have enough seeds to get by, so that's pretty fun. Plant those crops. We got a little bit of... Ah, we got two of the same thing over here, so that'll help out a little bit. I do need to find some meat. If I can get myself some kind of flesh, we'll probably be all right. But if I can't get my hands on no flesh, we're not going to be able to make more meatballs. We can't make pierogies, which I assume must be very, very delicious because they have the word pie inside of them. And so it seems to me as though it would be difficult for something not to be delicious with the word pie contained inside of it. Just an observation that I've made, but... You know, I think I probably will make the survival... Let's sleep through the night. I don't feel like dealing with this right now. Probably a good way to get a mosquito bite, but I'll be damned if I sit around here to wait for this day to be over. Oh, man. My thermal thingamadoobie is apparently shorting out. I think that just makes it not work. I don't think it's that big of a deal. And I definitely wasn't expecting this much flooding. Like, this is a lot of flooding over here. Let's work on some trees for a bit. And once we get some wood stacked up, I think we probably have a hound attack coming in pretty soon. Berry bushes are regrowing. So we have options. We just don't have super, super dense options right now. Day 52. We're moving right along. I mean, things are getting done. It's not so terrible out here. It's definitely not as bad as our previous playthrough. At least things are being accomplished, but... I just don't know anymore, everybody. I just don't know. I don't really know, like, what our priorities should be at this point in the game. I My guess is that we should probably armor up and then go into crazy land to get nightmare fuel so that we can build some of the other objects and get them ready for the future. However, that's not really something that I'm leaning towards. I kind of just want to, I don't know, I'm not leaning towards anything right now, now that I think about it. Like, I know there are things that I should be working on, and there are things that I should be accomplishing, but whether or not I will or won't accomplish those things remains to be seen so far. The sack over there, that's cool. We need to replant these fields. We don't have a ton of seeds right now, so hopefully we'll see something come along. Oh, really? A couple more of these little guys now. Alright. Wasn't really looking to diminish my sanity by fighting with them. How many eggs did I get out of that? A couple. Not enough to be worth it, though. I don't think you can use multiple eggs in a recipe. I'm pretty sure on that one. If you use multiple eggs, I'm almost positive it comes out as goop. However, we might be able to get stuffed durian out of that one. And then on the plus side, we can just eat the eggs as kind of a filler food for the next little bit if we need to. And so we've got... I have no idea. That'll probably give us a stuffed eggplant would be my guess. Yeah, so we got ratatouille out of that one. And then we'll probably get stuffed eggplant out of this one. Although I think stuffed eggplant needs a, a meat. Like a random meat. So I don't know what we're going to get. We can get something completely and totally out of the ordinary from that one. Crockpot, what you got for me? Crockpot, let it drop. Mm, he's taking his time. Taking his sweet ass time. Well, we got berries to harvest up here, so that's cool. That's one of the reasons I went to all the effort at relocating all these berry bushes over to here, so that we would have forageables ready to go every now and again to take the edge off of our consumption. I think a gambling trip might be worth it, too. Just to see what we can get out of the... There we go. Stuffed eggplant did it. Stuffed eggplant did it. Got it done. I have supplies. I need to stump these real fast. Once I stump all these, we'll replant. And then I'll head west for a bit after making our repair kits. So let's stump these. Is that where it came from? Being stumped is just people trying to figure out how they could get a stump out of the ground? Stumping's the worst. It's tough to get a big stump out of the ground. Good luck with that shit. You'd be sitting around all day with a chainsaw and pickaxes trying to break all the roots. Trying to get that thing out of the ground. I, uh, we had a big tree in our front yard that the municipality said we had to get rid of. 
because apparently they did some kind of survey or something. I'm not really sure exactly how it worked, but they basically, they came to the house. They said that it was potentially damaging the sewer line, and so they needed to look at it. They went down below and they checked and they said, yeah, the tree's got to go. And so I guess it's on the homeowner to get rid of the tree when it's damaging infrastructure or something like that. I don't know exactly how it all works, so please don't take this as me complaining or anything like that. It's not like that. I just didn't know how it worked. And so I guess it's the homeowner's job. I mean, it was a big tree in the front yard, a big maple tree. And I realized, is it illegal to stump a maple tree in Canada? It seemed like that'd be like a sacred thing for you guys. That's like, you roll, you roll out, you know, with the maple tree. I don't know. It just seems like a shame to kill a maple tree in Canada. Down here, though, we have no reverence for it. And so anyways, we had this big maple tree in our front yard. It had to be annihilated. It had to go. And man, that was a, that was a project for a day right there. How the hell do you get this stump out of the ground? Because that thing was in there. Those roots went deep. We sat around forever with a chainsaw, cutting roots and just messing with it. And it did not want to go. I gotta get this wetness off of me. I'm losing sanity right now. And unfortunately, that's not going to be acceptable long term. If it wipes out our research, that's a little unfortunate. Mosquitoes are getting a little out of hand over here. Luckily, on occasion, they make a mistake just like that one. Ah, shit. I didn't realize there was a third. Come here, you little prick. It's time to die. Damn it. I think I need... Coral... I need free inventory space. Yeah, that's fine. Get that out of there. I need coral. I need that. And I need seaweed, I think. And I don't think I have any of that. So unfortunately, we're going to have to wait this one out for the night. Should probably put on my chain mail before I go to fight them like that. Probably would have been wiser. I'm going to stack up a whole bunch of eggs so I can keep myself fed. These aren't going to heal me, but we got to ride out the night, unfortunately. And there's not much else to say about it. We got plenty of healing glands, so this really shouldn't be that much of an obstacle. It's just that I got to go pick up some seaweed because I forgot to keep some on hand for the poison cures. The big issue that you're going to have here is sanity when this starts to drop off. That's actually your sanity is going to get low way before your health does, in my experience. The yellow mosquito sacks, I think they do like 25 healing. They're actually pretty useful for making sure your face doesn't fall off from damage. I think we're just about out of time for the day, though. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Don't Starve Shipwrecked. I look forward to seeing you all in future episodes. Hi, do everybody. I'll see you there.